Hi guys, it's me with Cookie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put add-ons on your Gmod server. So this works for a dedicated server or one local on your computer, and this is using all of the methods together, so it will definitely 100% work. So, using Steam, you need to create a collection, and if you don't know how to do that, you can look online or um, on videos and stuff on YouTube and how to create a collection on Steam. But yeah, so if I go if so once you've made a collection go onto your profile go onto my workshop go onto collections and then you'll have your collection so for example this is my actual uh, collection for my server that I run and if you haven't been on it um, you can come and check it out if you want I'll leave the IP in the description so this is with all the add-ons that you want for your server you put in this collection the next thing you do is um, you get the code which is so you see where it says ID in the link and it has that code you copy that code on its own and in the start bat so I'm first of all I'm going through if you got it local um, on the start bat op open that up press edit go into the notepad and you'll have something like this um, and all you do is you do plus host workshop collection then the, your key and then you do the authorization, authorization key so if you don't know what that is I'll leave the link in the description again and you just click on it and it creates a key which authenticates your account and you use that key um, for various things including this so you just paste that key in so, um, so you go on the link you create one and then it say your key and then you just paste it in on the notepad. I'll leave this whole host workshop thing, um, I'll leave that in text in the description so you can copy and paste it. And you put it on the same line where it says start and then console and it says like the map and how many players, whatever. So once you've done that, you save it. I've, I haven't done anything. And then that should run. Once you start up your server, it will run up all of the add ons onto the server by getting them from the collection. It will go through in the command prompt, so if I just load it up anyway. It will go through in the command prompt, um, as you can see, like, it won't do it now, but it will download all of them onto the server and they will come up in your Gary's Mod add-ons folder, but as GMA files like that, not as the folders, because I'm gonna show you later how to make the GMAs into folders. So that is how you do it. If um, you've got a local server, and as you can see, it's like it is downloading an add-on there um, because I've added more weapons to the um, to the server and the add-ons. So as you can see, it's adding them now. Um, so I'm going to close that because I'm not. I don't use a server or a local on my computer anymore. And if you have um, a dedicated server, then you want to gonna use um, Core FTP Lite LE, which is Lite or something Lite Edition, um, which is what I use. Some people use FileZilla, but that's for some reason didn't work on my server. And then you just type in your server name, your IP, your username and password, which you should get from the hosts of the website or whoever. Is renting the server out to you um, and you got to do FTP connection and yeah um, I have the port is 21 because that's just the original one and you press connect and it doesn't work but then when you press um, quick connect and connect again it does and there we go it's got the folders and it's the same thing you go into the Gary's mod folder and we've got to do the code um, that was previously on the other one. So this is how you access the files um, on your server. So if you want to copy and paste the, um, so if you've got like me a local server and you don't want to have to install the thing from Steam again, you can simply copy and paste these. It has to be folders though, um, if you've got them into your server. And the way that you do that is you use something called um, GMA Convert. Um, I'll put it in the description. And basically, once you've downloaded that, 
you just have to right click on your GMAs, which all of these will be GMAs if you download them from the workshop, and then you go properties, and then you change what you open it with. So as you can see, it says it opens with gmaconverter.exe. So you press OK, and then you double click on that, and it will load up a command prompt thing, and it would have created um, a folder which was for that item so I can go delete that do it again there you go and delete that and it, it basically just um, look there you go it's turning it into a folder and you just keep doing that and it will um, create these folders which you can then copy and paste into your server so if I go here as you can see go into your add-ons folder and then simply press click on it and then just press that button and it'll get sent over and it takes a couple of minutes probably it depends how big the file is but it won't take that long and it will just go through all this and put it on your server um, I'll probably have to delete that because I already had it on but that is how you do it and it will just keep coming up with these files and you've got to wait until it's gone through all of them and then you have your add-on on your server so you've got your web API key um, and your workshop code and the way you're going to use that on the server is all you have to do is load up the console which you should have got like a website off the hosts of the server a console which you can manage your server and all that so I'm using GTS gaming to host my server so if you want to use that then you can relate to what I'm on about so all you do is you've long you've gone on anything um, you should have something that's similar to this called command line manager and all you need to do is go on custom command lines and then make the same um, command line that we basically made in the code on the on the local server so it asks you for authentication key authorization key you put that in you put server.cfg as a server config um, you start up map you can set it as whatever I'm going to set it to flat grass and and then you put the workshop collection code there so that's the code there and that code is there so you'll have something similar to that and all you do is press save and what I did before which was a mistake and I did it wrong is that I saved it but I didn't press select it so that it's bold because then it applies it to the server and then once you've done that you'll go on your server so I'll just go on it now and it will basically load in all of the files so if I go back onto the web console it will show all of these add-ons that it's got from the um, from the from the workshop basically and other ones that I put in as well such as YMI that I already had so I just put it straight in and then it will just load it up and you can go on the server but that is basically it um, for putting this, um, the add-ons on your server but what I realise is that all these tutorials show you how to do that but also what they need to show you is how people have, like, are forced to download them add-ons to join your server otherwise you see loads of errors so the way that you do that is you go back into your um, core FTP if you haven't used it already because you use other methods then you have to load it up you can use FileZilla which I'll put, I'll put both the links in because you both you, like one might work for you like files that didn't work but this one does so what you have to do is go to Gary's mod and you can create basically a Lua file in this server wherever you want and call it whatever you want and just put load this thing in so all you need to do server and there it is addons.lua so if I just view it so I can show you what it is it's a coded file which shows people who are downloading 
onto your server all the add-ons and what it is is resource.adworkshop bracket and then the code in speech mark kind of things bracket and then this is the green bit is just text so that tells people what they're downloading and so like when it comes up when you join the server so there you go you see this box here it'll tell you what it's downloading like the add-ons and stuff and that's because this is telling you so at the moment you'll be thinking oh dear I've got to type in all these codes but luckily there is a website which does it for you and all you have to do is get this um, your workshop code and paste it in so this is the website here that I've just loaded up and all you do is paste the collection ID so this code here from your steam collection and then press set workshop collection ID and then it will make all of this and then you just have to copy and paste it into a random Lua file, file that you'll create um, you'll have to paste it in and then save it but if you're using core you'll have to put it on well make it on your computer and then send it over to the server because I don't think you can create a Lua folder straight off it so that's what you have to do so when once you go in it all of this is loaded so that saves you having to type in this long code for each one and having to put a description you can just go on this website which is configcreator.com and it just types it all up for you which is really handy and once you put that on your server you just restart it so if you're using single all you need to do is close it using a command like stop and then go on start.bat and then that will load it up or if you're using a dedicated server you might want to go on it and press restart or stop or something and start it again and then it will load in all the files and it will load in the game so the last thing I just wanted to go through um, just to make sure that you understood is that you can't copy and paste the GMA files um, through core or whatever into your server because those are like installation files so you have they're like after you've installed it so the only way that you can get it to work from copy and pasting is to turn it into the folders which I showed you before with the um, Gmod um, converter so once you've done all that you should have the add-ons on your server and um, so you can restart it and yeah so all of these will just come on and you'll have them all on. So this will work, this will work, like that's how you do it. And then once you join the server, it's gonna be showing you all the downloads and it will take a while, but first time you go in, it will be the longest. So it's just sending client info and I'm joining my server now. There you go, that's how to put add-ons on your server and for them to actually download without errors because you've got this folder or this file forcing you to download all the add-ons you've got the same add-ons because it's the same code um, on your server so you know that they're all going to work so if I press close then all so let's see what's an add-on in here um, extended spawn menu no, or black ops c4 so if I go on my server and then go on Q, and go on weapons and then Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Black Ops 2, or what is it? Call of Duty, Card Multiplayer, there we go, C4. And then, yeah, that's C4 there. So, this is how you put add ons on your server. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, do suggest other tutorials if you're stuck on anything else with your Gmod server or anything to do with Gmod, and I'll try and help you out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.